Hey, what is going on, crypto people? It is the Crypto Siege with another day in the life and the crazy life that is the digital asset space. Tim Murray is in the building. What's going on, brother? Good to see you this morning. DeFi 2.0. Big time. We're gonna get into Wonderland time, whether it's sustainable or not. We're gonna get into a little bit of Olympus Dow, just a little bit of that as well. I'm gonna tell you why I decided to live stream today as well, and why I actually decided to do, uh, kind of share a little bit about some new projects as, as opposed to just going through news. Yeah, shout out to the family. Shout out to Dan O. Shout out to Keyless. Tim Murray said he got into Wonderland about a week ago. Nice. South Texas Celsius is in the building. What's good, bro? Yeah, two very, very interesting projects that I want to talk about, have a discussion about. I am in two of out of the three that we'll talk about today. I am in Wonderland and I am in um, the EGLD MEX, the Meyer D5 platform. Casey's UKGB locked in. What's going on DD1? Are you ready for the Vagabond airdrop? I am not, I am not. What's going on guys? Great to see you this morning. Again, this is Crypto Siege with another day in the life. And the crazy life that is the digital asset space. Good morning, happy Monday. Listen, the market is doing what the market does, right? But there's DeFi, there's DeFi going on. We're gonna talk about that a little bit as well. There's DeFi 2.0. What exactly is Wonderland time? Is it sustainable? At 86,000% APY, is it sustainable? What is the business model? You know, I think. I think the <clears throat> what usually goes on for most of us, right, is we hear about a project that's in DeFi, and if they have some type of APY and the numbers are crazy, we we immediately dismiss it without looking into it. We we see it as an, an inevitable scam or rug pull or something that might not be sustainable, but we don't, we don't really take the time to look into the project. Look into whether it be the tokenomics or the business model, what exactly are they doing to uh, derive this type of APY? So we're going to get into it this morning. Shout out again to Dano and Keyless. Keyless is like, every time she comments, she's like, I missed our lives. I missed the lives. I missed the lives. I missed the lives. Crypto siege. I missed the lives. I don't know if I like this angle. It seems like my one side of my face is just flat. But I missed the lies. I missed the lies. And then Dano, um, I was going through my comments and responding to my comments. And Dano said, you know, see, I think, you know, you, you need to do more than what you're doing. You need to do more than what you're doing. You know, don't do the news thing. <laughs> Teach us, educate us, turn us on to some, to some new projects. And I appreciate you, bro. And I appreciate that comment, uh, the, the feedback on that. So that's why, that's why, that's why the live stream, that's why I'm going into projects that I'm currently in. And I want to share with you guys and, and hopefully, you know, kind of turn you onto something. Certainly you want to do your own research and do your own homework. You have to assess your own risk tolerance, if you will. You, you, you definitely got to do that. You got to assess. Let me turn this thing around. Maybe that'll help. You have to assess your own risk tolerance as well, right? So uh, hopefully uh, my face is not totally blue or purple. <laughs> Trying out some new lighting. I hope you guys look. tell me what you think about the lighting. Is my face purple or blue? <laughs> What's going on, Josh? Good to see you, bro. Corey Anderson says hello from New Zealand. It's great to see you as well. Jay McDean, what's up, bro? Yo, C's. Uh, could not watch for a while. 
time differences. Yeah, I appreciate you being here, bro. We're in Texas now. Been here for about uh, two or three months. Trevor Laconte is in the building. What's good, brother? Good morning, to Siege and Bam. Smash the likes. Well, it's South Africa is in the house. What's going on, Adolphine? Good to see you. Yeah, so we're going to get into this Wonderland. Have you guys heard about Wonderland time? Let me ask that real quick. Have, I know Tim Murray has. He's in Wonderland time. Who else has heard about Wonderland time here? That's a good question to ask the community as well. Anybody heard about Wonderland time? Let's see. Do me a favor and answer in the comments so I can see you. Just to see, kind of get an idea. Let Miss Tessa, who knows, who doesn't? Sure, we're going to go over the market. Absolutely, we will do that. Corey Anderson says he has heard of Wonderland. Are you in Wonderland, Corey Anderson? Well, DD1, are you in Wonderland? Have you heard of Wonderland? Corey Anderson. Um, Jay McDean, are you in Wonderland? Heard of it? Trevor, have you are you in Wonderland? Have you heard about it? Big John says, nope, not heard about it. What's going on, Big John? Checking in all the way from Kentucky. Appreciate you, brother. <clears throat> South Texas Celsius, are you in Wonderland, bro? Have you heard about it? Raphael the Moor is here. What's good, bro? It's good to see you, my friend. Good to see you. 100 cent said yes. Heard about it. Love it. No, but have lots of metaverse coins. <laughs> uh, Jay McDean said, I just Googled it to understand it. It's cool. Love it. Um, Corey says no, but I have lots of metaverse coins. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I just... I got a few of them. I got a few more, you know, in addition to a Hedera and Decentraland. I got a few more um, the other day. I'm, I'm still I'm still wondering if I should even get some sand or not, but it's good to hear that you got some Metaverse coins. Uh, Trevor says, briefly heard by, all right, Feathered Serpent of the West, Wonderland. So you're in it, huh? Brother Wonderland says, yes, brother. All right. Appreciate that. Yeah, so this is a very, very interesting. We're going to get into that, guys. I promise. Uh, uh, we're definitely going to get into that. I looked into Wonderland um, for two reasons, because number one, I was in the EGL, the Meyer Dex thing, got into that. Um, and then I um, heard about the Wonderland time. My guy reached out to me, Danny Loth, and asked if I had looked into it and if I was using the Wonderland time. Danny Loth, I hope you're doing well, my friend. So, yeah, I, and I'm testing it with a very small amount of money. It's less than 100 bucks. You know how we do on this channel. Don't chase the game. Let the game come to you. You know how we do. So that's what I did just uh, uh, yesterday, the day before, something like that. Wow, Chrissy, got my manner is worth more than my XRP now. Good for you, bro. Good for you. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Josh, I got to tell you, uh, manner is just like a dream come true. I mean, six digit percentage gains on on decentralized six digits uh yeah we exited it out we exited out for for mental well-being <laughs> for our mental well-being we exited out about 99 Whoa, yes, Wonderland Festival and Consortium, Feathered Serpent of the West. Looks like you're real familiar with that. You'll be able to help us probably learn more about it as well. I just got into it again, I think yesterday or the day before yesterday. I think yesterday. More than happy to expound. Oh, okay, cool. Thanks, what, uh, Feather Serpent. I appreciate it. I need to read the comments. <laughs> uh, Todd Sellers, what's up, Siege? Atlanta is here. Never heard of it, Siege. So never heard of it. So good. That's good to know. So we'll have some fun learning together, and hopefully I can help to educate 
um, a little bit as well. Again, I'm just a day into it, but I have been doing my whole work. I have been watching some videos. I find it to be a very, very interesting project. Happens to be a fork of Olympus Dow. Happens to be a fork of Olympus Dow. Some articles say that some of the team from Olympus Dow, some just say uh, the founder from uh, was part of the Olympus Dow team that's now at, at Wonderland. So it's kind of kind of kind of have kind of both things. You have to have a team to do something. It can't be just one person, I would imagine. So um, um, that was encouraging. Um, I, I think Olympus Dow is um, uh, doing something very, very unique. It still has to win in the market. It still has to, right? The business model still has to uh, to win. And um, I'm encouraged by the attempt to try to make it work. So we're going to go over some stuff about that as well. So uh, who else checked in? Ms. C, I'm learning patience. Not the FOMO at the top is great. XLP will dominate. Ms. C, yes, it certainly, certainly will. So let's get, let's go over the numbers real quickly. And then I'm going to get into some articles, a couple of videos. Again, shout out to Dan O and, and Keyless for, for, uh, for encouraging me and giving positive feedback on, uh, on the channel. And so I'm excited about going live. I haven't done that in a while. And I'm excited to bring something new to you guys. Feather Serpent of the West says Wonderland has a massive team and a massive community. Nice. Very nice. So good. Makes maybe I'll, uh, maybe I will up the ante sooner than I thought. I was going to wait five days. Saturn Net One, greeting seeds. What's going on, Saturn Net One? It's good to see you, my friend. It is great to see you for sure. Look, let's get into it. Dollar cost average in at thirty cents. Nice at thirty cents. Nice, Chrissy Fox. Yeah, we were. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to get the six figure percentage gains, right? You gotta be in, gotta be in a you know massively early. But yeah, good for you, bro. Good for you. Look, I, I don't know, I don't know if there's any reason not to um continue to hodl. You know, for us again, it's six figure percentage gains. Um we we wanted to mentally be careful of not wanting more and wanting more and wanting more, you know, on that feeling. <laughs> So we exited it out, man. I'm glad it's been a blessing for you, bro. All right, let's go over the market real quick because, again, you know, the market is doing what the market does. Then we're going to get into this wonderland because um, is it sustainable? It's a big question. It's a big, big question. Uh, let's see. Let's do this. Let's look at the market real quick. You see, I was looking at Olympus Dow <laughs> this morning, just kind of checking that that the 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 the, uh, the business model here, the tokenomics, seeing what kind of makes it go. Four hundred eight bucks. It's you know is it eight twenty eight now. Is that something to look into as well? Um, all right. So here's the market. <laughs> the total cryptocurrency market cap is 2.82 trillion, according to CoinGecko. It's up 4.4 percent in the set on the 20, in 24 hours. Bitcoin is at 58,691 dollars. Ethereum is at 4,676 dollars. Uh, Binance Coin 627 dollars. Solana 215 dollars. Cardano is at a dollar 60. XRP is at a dollar two. Polka dots thirty eight dollars and twenty cent. Uh, Doge coins twenty two cents. You know, by the way, Doge coin is a mintable F asset. Um, Flare Network sounds like you. <clears throat> sounds like a use case to me. Shiba Unu is uh, what is it now? Zero point zero 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 four zeros forty eight eighty seven of a penny. Avalanche is $121. Terra Luna is at $58. It's up 41% on a seven day. Um, what else would we go over? Litecoin is $214. Polygon is at $1.83. You notice how you know these they're just kind of ranging. It looks like it's just gonna keep ranging for a bit, right? Um, 
I'm hoping the OGs, Bitcoin Cash, Zcash, EOS, and Ethereum Classic are gonna, are gonna make the new all-time highs. This is no guarantee. I bet on it. I bet on it, but there, there's no guarantees that it's gonna hit its all-time high. But by the way, I was listening to Ian Bellina of Token Metrics, and he pointed out that, you know, things like Icon, you know, and this current run, they're not reaching their back to their all-time highs. And he believes it's because of the new projects in the space and it just it makes sense but full transparency i bet on bitcoin cash getting back to its all-time high and zcash and eos and ethereum classic and dash i bet on it. whether we win or not we'll see whether i was right or not we'll see but that's i bet on that stella Loomis is at 34.7 percent what what say you do you think a lot of the ogs are going to get back to the all-time highs or, or, or is the market being, um, or is those are those dollars going to the newer projects? That's what it feels like currently. It feels like that currently. It's going to the Terra Lunas and Solanas and the Avalanches of the world and the EGLDs of the world. That's what it feels like. That's what it feels like. However, look about it. Look up. Think about an OG like the Central Land. It's starting to do its thing because it's in a different vertical. It's in that metaverse vertical, NFT vertical world. Thus, money is flowing to it. So uh, V change 12 cent, EGLD, another blessing for us. Not quite six uh, figure percentage. It was a five figure percentage gain for us with EGLD. That was a blessing for sure. And speaking of EGLD, we are in their new Meyer decentralized exchange platform. Um, as well, providing liquidity there. What else should we go over? Hedera Her Dash Grabs is at 35 cents. I know we got people here who are really excited about Hedera. Look at the central land there, $4.73. Uh, $4.73. Yeah, the central land, man. We, were, we, we had three sell orders from the central land, three of them. Three of them. They didn't fill. Put it into something else. That was a mistake. <laughs> that was a mistake. That was a that was a uh, a fail on our part. <laughs> but we're still here. We're still around. We're still surviving. We're still breathing. We put it into an OG though. Got to see if it's gonna pan out. Uh, what else we got? Tezos. Uh, no, five dollars and sixty two cents. And there's Olympus Dow number forty nine. On um, 49 with $4 billion market cap. They got an interesting um, project as well at $828.66. So let's get into Wonderland. What is this Wonderland thing? Like, I, I really do believe <coughs> sometimes they make these websites and it, I like, I feel like it's a test to see if people are just gonna look at something like this and think this is, it could look, it could be better and people just run away from it. <laughs> I, sometimes I think that, that these uh, guys say, or maybe they just say, look, let's get something up quick, but let's you know really spend a majority of our time on the project itself, not on a freaking website. Maybe that's it. So look at this here, um, the DeFi Wonderland, financial tools should grow your wealth Stake and earn compounding interest. And you're staking what they call the time token, T-I-M-E. It's 245,256 time or stake. The treasury balance. This is a very, very important thing. It's 791,364,000. The current APY on this thing is 85,375.4%. And a lot of people, I'm convinced of it. Who's my friend here who is, um, uh, very familiar with Wonderland. Where is it? Uh, where am I at? Right here. Feathered Serpent, never sold or traded any EGLD to date. Oh, man. Man, Trev, Feathered Serpent, Feathered, 
feathered serpent of the West is on it. You didn't sell any, huh? Yeah, I, I exited out of EGLD. I was in that thing from the beginning before it was EGLD. Yeah, really, really blessed there. So feather serpent, I'm, I'm convinced of this, my friend. Oh, you were thinking, oh, I was thinking of Wonderland A.I. Don't know what that is. Oh, ah, yeah, we're talking about DeFi Wonderland. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what Wonderland A.I. is. So um, uh, I think that a lot of people see the APY and they just kind of run away. I really, really do think that. They don't look into the project. Like I said at the beginning of the stream, they don't look into it. City Sports Bar, imagine if VR set in a metaverse. <laughs> EGLD and Meyer is a super sleeper, in my opinion, also. Yeah, absolutely. So is Wonderland AI a spinoff or Wonderland? Nope, not AI, no, nope. I haven't even looked at my Realm Games, Trevor Conte. <laughs> I haven't looked at them. I don't even know what's going on with Realm. What's going on with Realm? I guess I guess I should look and see what's going on. <laughs> but I'm convinced that they look at this current APY and they never look into it further. I'm convinced they think no way, no nothing. I really do believe that. Let's look at something here. Um, if you click on documentation, I already did. I'm going to pull it up. It has a frequently asked section as well. So what is Wonderland? Wonderland is the first decentralized reserve currency protocol available on the Avalanche network. I was excited about that, being on Avalanche, not worrying about, not having to worry about Ethereum gas fees. Based on the time token, each time token is backed by a basket of assets. MIM, which is magic and net money. The time AVAX, which is Avalanche, LP tokens, et cetera, et cetera, in the Wonderland treasury, giving it an intrinsic value that it cannot fall below. Wonderland also introduces economic and game theoretic dynamics into the market through staking and minting. What is the point of Wonderland? Our goal is to build a policy control currency system native on the Avalanche network in which the behavior of the time token in the long term, we believe this system can be used to optimize for stability and consistency so that time can function as a global unit of account and medium of exchange currency. In the short term, we intend to optimize the system for growth and wealth creation. We intend to achieve price flatness for a representative basket of goods without the use of fiat currency in order to allow the cryptocurrency industry to detach once and for all from the traditional finance world. That is a big goal. That is a really, really big goal. How do I participate in Wonderland? There are two main strategies for market participants, staking, and minting. I'm currently staking only. The minting thing seems to be a little more complicated. Stakers stake their time tokens in return for more time tokens, while mentors provide liquidity tokens or MIM tokens in exchange for discounted time tokens after a fixed vesting period. But right now, I can tell you that I'm liking what they're trying to do. I'm really liking what it is that they're trying to do here. 
It is it's just it's very, very, it feels very, very similar. I know it's a fork of Olympus Dow, but it, again, the, 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 the model or economics seem very, very similar. Okay, how can I benefit from one land? The main benefit for stakers comes from supply growth. The protocol mints new time tokens from the treasury. Remember what the treasury is made up of. The treasury is made up from uh, the mentors who provide liquidity LP tokens, liquidity tokens, or M tokens, which is money and magic internet money tokens in exchange for discounted time after a fixed investing period. So they are providing a little liquidity and things like um, AVAX, um, um, Avalanche tokens, the ma uh, magic internet tokens, and they're providing a little liquidity. That kind of makes up the treasury. All right, the main benefit, the protocol mints new time tokens from the treasury, the majority of which are distributed to the stakers. Thus, the gain for stakers will come from their auto compounding balances. <laughs> Through price exposure, uh, though price exposure remains an important consideration, that is, if the increase in the token balance outpaces the potential drop in price due to inflation, stakers would make a profit. The main benefit from mentors from price consistency, mentors commit a capital upfront and are promised a fixed return, <clears throat> are promised a fixed return at a set point in time. That's something that we're very, very um, used to, right? Very, very, you know, like a, like a money market CD or a bond, right? That's something that traditional finance were kind of used to that kind of thing. You commit capital upfront and are promised a fixed return at a set point in time. That return is given in time tokens. And thus the mentor's profit would depend on time, the token time price, when the minted time matures. Taking this into consideration, Mentors benefit from a rising or static price for the time token. Very, very interesting. So timing may be a consideration here. So bull market, very, very cool, probably to be minting or static. I don't know what static is going to look like in a bear market. What's static going to look like in a bear market? Taking this into consideration, mentors benefit from a rising or static price for the time token. Now, here's some of the big questions that we want to answer. Who created Wonderland? I got another article I'm going to share with you as well. And then this is, but this is the documentation from Wonderland itself. Wonderland is a fork of Olympus on the Avalanche network, talking about Olympus Dow. Our team is mostly anonymous, born from the DeFi community. We aim at becoming a decentralized autonomous organization. That is the future in, in, in crypto. These DAOs, I believe, are absolutely the future. And we are actively working towards that goal. Flare Networks, same thing, by the way, for all the XRP fans in the house. Currently, most of the decisions are taken by the core team, but we expect to be able to turn this into a DAO governed model as soon as possible. Now, this, this probably came out um you know october september somewhere around that um time frame partnerships abracadabra which is the abracadabra money which uh came up with the magic internet money um model so let's go over some frequently asked questions here all right let's put this up here this is a good one why do we need wonderland in the first place Dollar pegged stable coins have become an essential part of crypto due to their lack of volatility as compared to tokens such as Bitcoin and uh, Ether. Users are comfortable with transacting using stable coins, knowing that they hold the same amount of purchasing power today versus tomorrow. But they say, but this is a fallacy. The dollar is controlled by the US government and the Federal Reserve. 
This means a depreciation of dollar also means a depreciation of the stable coins. What do you think about that statement? Let me read it again, and I'm going to go into the chat to hear what you guys think about that statement. Users are comfortable with transacting using stable coins, knowing that they hold the same amount of purchasing power today versus tomorrow, versus tomorrow. But this is a fallacy. The dollar is controlled by the United States government and the Federal Reserve. This means a depreciation of dollar also means a depreciation of these stable coins. Purchasing power is purchasing power. I guess as, as compared to the, the volatility in asset appreciation, stable coins have a place. But is it a fallacy? Let's get into the chat here. Let's check out that. Is it a fallacy? What do you think about that statement? Yeah, it's almost 8K per token. Yeah, absolutely. And it must have, it feels like Saturday Night Net, is, that token started out in the hundreds of dollars. I no worries for the Serpent of the West. No worries at all. What do you guys think about that statement that this it's a fallacy to believe to believe that today your thousand dollars in stable coins um, is a thousand dollars tomorrow because of the dollar and who controls it? What do you think about that? Alex D Vlogs is in the building. What's going on? What do you think about that statement? That's a very, very powerful statement. Alex D. Boggs, thank you so much for the super chat, bro. I appreciate you. It's good to hear from you, man. What's good with you? Further Circle of the West says, I literally never heard of this. Interesting. Yeah, check it out. Do your homework, man. Do your homework. What's going on, Pedro, Sarah, L -R, uh, LRC, good to see you. Pedro says he's on time. He's on, you're on the Wonderland thing? Oh, it's Long Riders, what's going on? Okay, Pedro, okay, it's good to see you, bro. We still need to connect, man. We definitely need to connect. So you're saying you're on the Wonderland? Wonderland? project you're participating the not chosen hey i can be out <laughs> what's going on the not chosen barkalar games is in there so what do you think about that 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 statement it's a fallacy to think that your thousand dollars in usdc today is worth a thousand dollars tomorrow hmm. Rafael the Moore, what's going on, my friend? I'm 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 liking what the what I'm really liking um, the challenge that they're trying to tackle with this one no end thing. I really do. That's right. The total value locked is two billion dollars now on the Wonderland. It, two billion dollars in TVL. How many are feeling the thinking? How many are feeling the thinking and what the Wonderland project is trying to, to, to do? I'm, I'm really kind of feeling what it is that they're trying to do. I really am kind of getting it. It's a tough, it's not going to be easy, but they're really looking to tackle a big time problem. I'm getting, I'm getting really, really excited about it now. The more and more I think about it, I really, really am. I really, I really, really am a fallacy. We are all here for profit, says Corey Anderson. Bank, banks and our takers, not givers, need to make passive income. Exactly. Need to make passive income. And this is what this is to me. 
a big time passive thing. And again, I really do believe, Corey, that a lot of people, they just look at the APY and they don't take the time to look into it. They just hear the APY, they think the money, did I miss a super chat? Man, did I miss it? Kev Cleveland, thanks. What's going on, bro? Coffee or tea on me. Thank you, man. I appreciate that, Kev. How are you, brother? I really do think, man. I really do think. I think people just look. Right? Where where is Hector Dow? Where does it, it who created it? Who to, who's part of that thing there, man? Pedro. Absolutely, one hundred percent. Right, exactly. They just look at the APY. They don't look into it. They don't look into it. They don't read like we're doing now. We don't learn. They don't educate. They don't level up. They just look at the APY and they say not sustainable. They think traditional finance and traditional finance products, and they say they think not sustainable. They don't go for. It. They don't. They don't take the time to do the homework and think for themselves, to think for themselves. They don't do it. That's the challenge. They don't, they don't go and, and, and come to their own conclusions, you know, based upon the homework that they're doing. That they're, you, you see what I'm saying? Phantom Network created Hector Dow. Okay, got it. Kev Cleveland, good. You getting the Maya profit? Absolutely. I love it, bro. I'm loving it. I'm in that one big time. It's great to hear. Oh, Feather Serpent of the West. Thank you, man. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Welcome to the channel. Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate that, brother. Mr. Miller says, I'm here for the long haul in this new financial world. <laughs> indeed, bro. Indeed. Appreciate you checking in this morning. Meyer is a beast, says Feather Serpent. It really, really is. The MEX, you know, it feels like a lot of these models today are coming out and saying, look, are you going to be here for quick money and you're out? Or are you going to invest for the long term? The Meyer Dex is about long term. It's about at least a year. <laughs> Incognito one. <laughs> Hi, C's. I hope you're doing good. I'm deep. I'm deep in Wonderland. Uh, and you and Hector and claim with my strong block. I'm on a compounding marathon. Celsius is my lender. <laughs> I love it, bro. <laughs> Celsius as my lender. I'm never selling my tokens. LOL. It looks like you got a great strategy going on right there. Borrow from Celsius. If you have some assets of value and have them compound on other places. I love it. Yeah, I did look in the VCESS um, project. I did, uh, Pedro. I did indeed. I don't know if I ever got anything. I know I was trying so hard to try to participate in stuff. But as a U.S. person, man, it's, it's hard. It really is hard to get involved because, you know. Kerry Gensler, you know, he's got our back. He's looking out for us. Peter, Peter Woo's in the building. What's going on? Yeah. XRP number one. <laughs> uh huh. I'm going to check this HEC. I want to check out this Hector Dow as well. It's called Access. It's called, oh, it's called Access? Really? Okay, good. Yeah, I couldn't. I, I know I looked into it, uh, Pedro, and I know I uh, um, was trying to figure out a way to participate, but, I, you know, I think it's, it was kind of, it, it kind of sucked for U.S. investors. But I did pick up some metaverse tokens. But let's go a little bit more into this wonderland here and get some things. And I'm going to show you the site. Again, I participated teeny, 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 tiny yesterday. 
test it out. Long-term investor, I'm glad to hear that, bro. Let's, let's go a little bit in this wonderland. Share the screen. Let's go over some more of these frequently asked questions here. Why do we need Wonderland in the first place? Did I cover that? Usually it comes up with this is how I read that. Wonderland aims to solve this by creating, Wonderland aims to solve this fallacy by creating a non-pegged stable, call, stable coin called time. By focusing on supply growth rather than price appreciation, Wonderland hopes that time can function as a currency that is able to hold its purchasing power regardless of market volatility. That's big goal, that's big aspirations there. Wonderland hopes that time can function as a currency that is able to hold its purchasing power regardless of market volatility. Is time a stable coin? No, time is not a stable coin. Rather, time aspires to become an algorithmic reserve currency backed by other decentralized assets. Similar to the idea of the gold standard, time provides free floating, okay, free floating value. Its users can always fall back on. Simply because of the fractional treasury reserves, time draws its intrinsic value from. Interesting. What is magic internet money? Magic internet money is a stable coin backed by interest bearing tokens issued by abracadabra.money. Uh, Abra is that the spell token? I believe that's the, where the spell token is, right? MEM is a native of the Ethereum ecosystem and bridge to Avalanche. The place with the highest liquidity to buy MEM on Avalanche network is on Trader Joe using the Avalanche and the magic internet money pair. Okay, the MEM address. Time is backed, not pegged. Each time is backed by one um, magic internet money, which is stable coin, not pegged to it. Because the treasury backs every time with at least one MEM, the protocol would buy back and burn time when it trades below one MEM. Okay, this has the effect of pushing time price back up to one mem. Time could always trade above one m mem because there is no upper limit imposed by the protocol. Think pegged equals one, while back equals while back is equal to or greater than one. That's very interesting. You might say that time floor price or intrinsic value is one mem, never going below one magic in that money. We believe that the actual price will always be one mem plus premium. But in the end, that is up to the market to this. Whoa. My thing here is, is the more that we begin, begin to level up our education, the more and more we, 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 we stand up for having the right monetary policy, the more, that's why we're in crypto, because we're in crypto because we recognize that we gave them a chance to get the monetary policy right, and they haven't. They've continued to screw it up ever since Nixon took the dollar off the gold standard. And they continue to try to experiment and they continue to mess it up. They can't seem to get it right. This is what the market, this is what the market to the side thing is about. The market to the side is, are we going to become educated enough and say no to the old financial system that you had your chance to make something work and you haven't done it and you're not looking out for us? 
and, and, and dive into and become better educated and, and, and more importantly, participate in new financial products and systems like, for example, I'm not telling you what to do with your money. You guys have to make your own decision about what it is that you want to do. I can't get this lighting right here, right? That's what this is about. That's what that, but in the end, that is up to the market to decide. That's what it's about. How many of is this is making sense to you guys? Look, you want to go to the site, you want to go to the site, wonderland.money, wonderland.money. And then you can click on the docs and read this. And in, in, in the docs is the, the frequently asked questions as well. And decide for yourself if this makes sense to you. That's what this is about. Hmm. I'm kind of liking the minting thing right here, right now. <laughs> now that I read this. How does it work? At a high level, Wonderland consists of its protocol managed treasury, protocol owned liquidity, bond mechanism, which is minting, and high staking rewards that are designed to control supply expansion. Bonding in the mint page generates profit for the protocol. And the treasury uses the profits to mint time and distribute them to stakers. With liquidity provider bond, the protocol is able to accumulate liquidity to ensure the system stability. That's it in a nutshell. That is the model right there. Wow. Very, very interesting. Very, very interesting, guys. How many of you are getting this? How many of you feel like this is making sense, that this makes sense? All right, Paige, you'll stay safe, brother. Corey's going to look into it. Oh, Feather Serpent, who knows? Says absolutely brilliant. Basically, proof of time. That's right, Feather Serpent. 100, 100 cents. See you soon, bro. Take care. Thanks for checking in, man. Um, it's uh, XOX, blood out XOX. They added a calculator on the Dow so you can see what, what you would make in a year. It's pretty cool. And, you know, uh, thank you for sharing that, my friend. I feel like, like, you gotta put my, got to put my glasses on LL. <laughs> so I wanna make sure I'm not purple here too, or just lighting, but it feels like, again, we always say on this channel, this is not your 2017, 28 digital asset space. Things have changed, right? Let me do this. Right. And no longer is it just about asset appreciation. We say it all the time. It's about cash flow. It is about cash flow. I feel like. Look, time has to one land has to has to prove itself out. Right. Question is, are you willing to participate to see it through, to see if it will make it or not? And how much are you willing to participate? That's what it feels like. 
Olympus Dow, which which is a uh, which is the originator, one land is the fork of Olympus Dow. Their APY is seven thousand percent. I feel like that would make a lot of people more comfortable. Very, very interesting. Guys, I got to tell you, I am intrigued by this for sure. Um, I'll sh again, I'll share. I'm a little bit of money in the Wonderland as of yesterday, but I am more than intrigued by what is going on here. Further Circle of the West says, I'm willing to participate. I hear you, bro. But the serpent says proof of time alone is absolutely far ahead of many of these other dinosaur protocols. You got to check out the, the crypto that is backed by, though, um, Josh. So hypothetical, says Josh, if it is backed by a basket of crypto, if that back is go down in value, does the APY matter? So the, the model is very, it's, they, they make up the treasury. Right, it's it's backed by MIM, but the treasury is made up of liquidity provided tokens, LP tokens, which consist of MIM and uh, the MI uh, a, um, the Avalanche tokens. Right, that trading pair. Oh, great, great! Oh, you're welcome, XRP Joe. What's going on, TJ Jackson? Good morning to you. Does that make sense, Josh? One, yeah, but yeah, definitely read read through that article, bro. Read through the not the article. Go to Wonderland.money and go to the docs and read through it. It tells you about what the treasury is made up of. Time itself is backed by MIM. The treasury is made up of liquidity provided tokens that people mint. They provide liquidity. They put up upfront capital, and put, by providing that upfront capital, they get a discounted TIM token. Um, a discounted one, uh, depending upon the vesting period. I'm excited about this. I got to tell you. All right, let me share what I'm doing. I'm going to share the EGLD Meyer one with you as well. We're going to get into that more as well. Yeah, the protocol dictates. Proof of time is the pinnacle. I am beginning to agree. With, I'm agreeing with you more and more, Feather Serpent. What's going on with Star 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 L? How is it doing? I haven't looked into that. I haven't looked into Realm or Star L. I just got them. <laughs> That's what happened with the Central Land. I had no idea the Central Land was doing what it's doing. Like none. Um, Crypto Eddie mentioned it about a week ago, and I looked into it, and I was like, "Holy moly, <laughs> blessed." Got to milk the cows. Have a good day. All right, Corey. <laughs> Take care, brother. Tiger Lawn Care says that got to worry about the ETH fees on Olympus Dow. Really? So it, it, it's on Ethereum? Tiger Lawn Care, Olympus Dow is on Ethereum. Hmm. I don't like messing around, man, with these gas fees, man. I really don't. How much does a ring node cost, Frockadelic Research Group? Let me show you guys what I'm doing and let Frogadella Research Group answer. Ooh. Olympus Dow is on Ethereum. Ah, goodness. Yeah, I guess that, that'd be a good way not to mess around with, <laughs> right? You, you put your money in and you don't mess around because you don't want to deal with those stupid gas fees, right? Let me show you what I got kind of going on. Not, again, teeny, 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 teeny amount, less than $70. Let's see if this will load. Am I connected? I'm connected. All right. So look here, 86,621% APY. And I encourage you guys, I encourage you to not just look at that APY, but do your homework, do your due diligence, read the docs, read the frequently asked questions, get on YouTube and figure it out for yourself. Figure out for yourself, is this sustainable? Figure out for yourself whether or not this can work. Does it make sense to you? 
Because I got to tell you, for me, it is making sense. And for me, for me personally, it feels like it's worth my hard earned capital to participate. Whatever that looks like. To see it through, to see if it can win. That's what it's feeling like to me. So again, look, look at my little 86,000% APY. Total value locked is over $2 billion. This just came out. I can't think it's more than 90 days old. Current index uh, for time is 4.48. Don't know what that index means. Your balance, here it is, 0.0087 time. Again, guys, so this is $65. I put $65. I had some um, avalanche um, lying around somewhere and I put 65. That was it. I traded my avalanche way back um, for Bitcoin and Ethereum. Way back when it when whatever. I believe is what I did. So I got Bitcoin and Ethereum on the avalanche network. And it feels like it's a little silly to have Bitcoin and Ethereum right now. Does it feel like that? It feels like it's a little silly where I could take that value put it here. Yeah. So here it is right here. See how it says here, mint on the left here, Josh? Mint discounts, the time and the AVX liquidity provider tokens, 8.57%. It uh, looks like that's the discount because you're going to get time. And then you got the time um, mem, which is um, magic internet money liquid uh, liquidity provider token is 7.4% a discount. Oh, oh, you can wrap AVAX. And just meant that. So these that this is what makes up the treasury. This is what makes up the treasury. Very interesting. And then it says here your balance. You get this memo thing, and you get the memo, and then you unwrap the memo. You have time, and then if you want to do something with your time, you go to Trader Joe, and you swap the time for something that you want, or you don't swap the time for something that you want. Yep, uh, but it says here, um, the ROI on a five-day rate is 9.7%. Yeah, current time, price of time, let's look at the current price of time, I believe it's seven or $8,000. Uh, let's look into that. Yeah, it's seven thousand nine hundred and fifty-four dollars. It's up nine point seven percent in twenty-four hour. The low, the low for time token, according to Coin Gecko, is was five hundred and forty-eight dollars in September. It's nine thousand dollars now. Seven thousand dollars now. So, for those who participated in the beginning, that's what happened for them. All time high is ten thousand sixty three dollars. Interesting, interesting, interesting stuff. I got to tell you personally, I'm I'm getting more and more excited about this model. Um, and so I showed you that. Let me show you my um, EGDL EGLD, and then I'm participating there as well. Uh, where can I find it? Let's see right here. This is the MEX distribution. That's what you get from participating in the Meyer thing. Let's see. Uh, Meyer exchange. Let's do this. Just so I can show you what it looks like. M A.
Here it is here, it is a farms. Uh, this is the new decks coming from Meyer. Home swap liquidity farms. Total value locked on the farm is $2 billion. <laughs> uh, uh, you get uh, the MEX is the native token for the Meyer exchange, MEX, the native token for this exchange. Kind of like AVAX is the major thing for uh, no, that's not what I want to say. Current like uh, Ave, like Ave is the main token for for um, the Ave platform, right? Which is like a bank. But in any case, here it is. Here, um, if you just get the EMEX token, you can stake that token, and you earn two hundred sixty-two percent APR and twelve hundred seventy percent APY. If you do the, the add liquidity, which with the EGLD token and the MEX token, you get this percentage APR and, and, and 10,000% APY over a year. That's their hopes, right? I'm, I'm very curious as to, um, this used to be 10,000 and it's going down. And I think that is important that it is going down. It means it's honoring the, the protocol and the mechanisms here. EGLD USDC. I put um, half in EGLD, half in the EGLD USDC. Um, I'm sorry, half in the in this trading pair and half in the bottom trading pair. And um, because I was blessed to be early in the EGLD, I got a bunch of this MEX token and um, staked it here. Right. So the, I'm not right, not touching that for a year. In fact, what you get is locked for a year. I'm not messing with entities for at least a year. And uh, it's been absolutely crazy uh, the way it's going, but I really do believe, honestly, guys, they're rewarding people who kind of like Flare Networks, they're rewarding people by participating and long-term participation. Just like the curve, by the way, where am I at? Just like the curve platform rewarded those people for participating, for four years. That's long-term commitment. And I'm telling you, I know dudes after two years of participating in the curve finance and uh, in, in participating there and that model and that ecosystem, four, five, six thousand dollars, and I kid you not, a day. A day cash flow but it comes from the participating it, it comes from being willing to invest for the long term isn't that what we want anyway isn't that the one of the keys to success anyway saving and investing for the long term i always say this about the crypto space one of the greatest things about crypto in this new asset class is you can go from zero to 190 days 90 to 120 days, you can go from zero to 100,000, zero to a million. But a lot of times what is our greatest strength can also be our greatest weakness. It's because people can come into the space looking to do that in 90 to 120 days. And that's all the only reason why they're here. They're not here to participate and add value to make this a stable economic force that replaces the traditional financial system. Oh man, I'm missing super chats. Feather, oh, thank you, my friend. Thank you for the super chat, my friend. I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. GDLT is here. What's going on? Much love, Blue Crew. What's good? What's going on, GDLT? Are you are you are you aware of this these protocols, GDLT? I know you're on things like Cosmos. I know you're on it. Uh, did you hear about Wonderland? Do you know about it? What about Olympus Dow? Do you know about that? What happened with Solo? Something happened? Tiger Long here says Metaverse Pro. Meta is another, it's on um, BSC, Spina Smart Chain, crazy API, but the same idea. I'm trying to through them. Okay, nice. Let us know, man. Let us know, Ty. Keep us updated on how that's going. 
GGLT, sharing the info in case y'all don't know what happened. Really? That's not good. GDLT says, we say when just posted on Twitter that uh, stating that the XRP ledger is being overloaded uh, by the trust lines and causing some problems for the ledger. That's not great. Is it is drop those shades? What's going on? Is it my thing messing you guys up? No, the future is bright. Okay. <laughs> Did I? I hope I didn't forget any super chats. TJ Jackson, thank you so much for the super chat, brother. I appreciate that. I, I emailed you a few days ago. Maybe you used the wrong email. I want you to take a look at a project. Okay, let me check that out, man. Uh, you you sent it to the Crypto Siege at Proton Mail. The email for the channel, yeah, Crypto Siege at Proton Mail. I will look into that, bro. Uh, a few days ago, huh? I will definitely look into that, TJ Jackson. Price action with star or nothing special right now, but this project has legs. Okay, excellent, Joe. Thanks. Time is money, and money is time. How much does the ring no cost? Anybody tell me? Did I did I get that answer? Did I miss it? How much does the ring node cost? Does someone tell me? Ring token is two hundred and eighty dollars. Really. What's going on, JL XRP? It's great to see you, man. What? Ring had a Black Friday sell seven ring, which is basically two thousand dollars, to create a no. Oh no, I missed that. Hmm. JL XRP says the EGLD Max is paying my bills. Gotta love that. Gotta love that. How long have you been in, in the uh, EG uh, MEX? So, Feather Serpent, you like solo? GDLT, you're not a um, mod? Well, let's change that, bro. Let's change that. Day one. Okay, got it. Okay, got it. XRP Joe says, everyone, please make sure to smash the like and show that love for our guys. See, subscribe for content notifications. Ring that bell for instant live updates. There you go. Thank you, man. Yeah, you got some of that. You got that max airdrop, right? <laughs> indeed. Indeed. Yeah, I staked my max. You put your max in the uh, EGLD um, thing, huh? Nice. Day one EGLD max. Okay, love it. Yeah, that's not great news, man, that this given the ledger some challenges just because of trust lines. That's not good. You are good and caught up on the Super Chat. Okay, thank you, XP Joe. Appreciate that. All right, guys. Got some nice gains off of Solo. All right, look, I've, I've been over an hour, man, but I just I just wanted to bring you guys, uh, kind of bring this attention to you guys on this one. Again, thanks to Dan O for the positive feedback. That comes from love, and I know that comes from love, bro, and I appreciate that. Keyless, we did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. We went live for you, <laughs> and you didn't show. 
maybe we'll do another live so keyless can show as well the lady of crypto all right guys look i'm gonna end this video and this live stream thank you so much for hanging out today it's been a really 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 uh awesome hang great to do a live stream for sure do your homework on wonderland.money just josh hook up uh give me a call josh give me a call bro let's talk for sure Yeah, tech is important. Crawfish says bullish. Indeed, indeed, Crawfish says bullish. Yeah, Danny Lowe turned me on. Well, kind of, it was added kind of turn on to uh, Wonderland. Oh, solo is the thing that's giving it the challenge. I got it. That makes sense. That makes sense. G, 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 G. I hear that on Madden all the time. G, G, ouch. <laughs> you talk about GDLT, all right? Alex, G, appreciate you being here, bro. All right, guys, look, I'm, gonna hang, I'm um, definitely for sure going to get off here. I got to take care of some business. I got to, um, yeah, I got to get this uh, Facebook thing going. That's right, man. Can't get too greedy. And that's why, you know, a lot of people are like, why did you get out of the central? <laughs> Uh, right. I'm like six figure percentage gains. Isn't that enough? Yeah, I had to get out. All right, guys, listen, thank you so much. Thank you so much for hanging out. It's been a really, really cool hang for sure, guys. It's great to hang. Great to see you guys. Uh, I'm going to end the stream. I could do all my streams and remind you guys of this that old money doesn't want you to win. But that's okay, though, because you and I are already winning. Have a great rest of the day, guys. I'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye.